cage of cold metal with hot rubber at the corners, a chariot of thundering fury. The difference between you and your rivals isn't just the war paint traded in battle, it's more. Refuse to lose. What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and today we are here with NASCAR Heat 5. It is in our hands, and we are going to jump headfirst into it right away here today. And uh, first and foremost, I do want to thank 704 Motorsports Games and Devs for sending us the game. We do have it in our possession because of them, and I am thankful for that. So very big thank you to all of them. And with that, we'll go ahead and check out NASCAR Heat 5 a little bit. Started here with the menu. I like how they got the car in the background with the paint schemes changing on it. Kind of reminds me of the old NASCAR games a little bit. And the menu has condensed itself, which is why we pop down to the race mode section here. And you will see a bunch of the different selections are down here now including test session up there which is finally back at long last i know a lot of us have been wanting that one back for a while it is here and then we've got challenges and split screen back as well but we're gonna head into the championship section here start a new season and go into the cup series with this example because i want to show you guys just the amount of like customization options you have here for your championship mode you can do all these different types of season layouts uh some of which are loosely based in reality and then some of which are entirely fantasy ones like you see down here at the bottom and uh, they're all pretty cool. Of course, you can just do a regular full season if you want to. Or you can hit the X button here and do new custom season. You can enter a name for your season. I'm going to call ours Super Speedway Stupidity. Let's get double O's in there on that stupidity because it's going to be rather silly what we're doing here. Let's go ahead and add a bunch of play tracks like Daytona 500s out the wazoo. And let's go ahead and find Talladega as well. There it is. Get some of those in there. And we'll just fill those in nicely. There you go. And you don't have to fill them all the way in. You can do however many races you want. So you don't have to do the full 36. But once you accept that, then you can decide whether or not you want championship playoffs. If you don't, you can select no one. It will give you a season long points format. But if you do, you can select yes, and then you can decide how long you want the playoffs to be and how many rounds you want. So you get quite a lot of customization options here in the championship section. I want to know from you guys down in the comments, should we do a custom championship series here on the channel? Let me know. We mentioned earlier how test sessions being back was a big deal to a lot of people, myself included. It's great to have it back. It's good for practicing. You can do it in all four series, of course. And we're going to jump into the Cup Series one here because... One of the things I like about it is when you go into the test session, you actually get a test car with a test scheme on it like you would see at a real NASCAR test. While we're on the topic of paint schemes, we'll pop over here to the custom car section where we can choose through a bunch of different paint designs and they'll be adding new ones over time through updates. One of the nice little convenience changes they've made here is you can now select the number and the font of the number independently. In NASCAR Heat 4, you had to scroll through the world's longest line to decide which number and which font you wanted now you can pick them both separately it's a lot easier another neat little addition here at the bottom is you can now decide whether or not you want your car to be painted in gloss paint or matte paint and i'm having a bit of a tough time deciding which i like better so i think i'm going to leave it on matte for now and move down here to the rim color because you can now fully customize the rim color before in previous games you only had a couple of options to choose from now you can choose from the entire list of colors and you can do the same thing here for the spoiler. So some teams do paint these, some don't. So maybe if you want to fit in with your favorite team a little bit better or you just want to make your car as beautiful as you can, you have a couple of extra options to do so. If we pop over to the online multiplayer section, we will see a new mode that's been added into NASCAR Heat 5. Past esports and leaderboards, we now have these online challenges. You can compete in these challenges and wind up on these leaderboards right here. There's different ones for different difficulties, and you can get that leaderboard glory if that's what you're after. Time for a race, and I know exactly who I'm looking for. Give me that Blaney machine. Last time we used Blaney, we had great luck, so let's use him again. You better know right where we're headed to. There it is in all its glory. One last check of the settings. Everything's good. Are we ready to do this? Our first race in NASCAR Heat 5. So while we are getting up to speed here, I do actually want to show off a couple of the new camera angles that are in this game. The first one is a playoff of this, the hood cam. It is the roof cam, which basically takes the hood cam and moves it back a little bit. But this is the more realistic one that you would actually see in real life. So that's a nice addition right there. And then, of course, we have the classic bumper cam up next. But that leads me into my new favorite camera angle in this game. We have the extended outside third person shot and you can see everything. It is beautiful. We're gonna be able to see everybody who's coming to pass us 
and every big one that we ever cause is going to be highly visible from now on. Well, I'm not a great qualifier, especially at plate tracks, and yeah, we've got some work to do. All right, lining them up, ready to go here at Talladega for our first race in NASCAR Heat 5. Stories of the race, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has been struggling all weekend. He's been struggling his whole career. Tyler Reddick failed the optical scanning station multiple times, and Bubba Wallace going to the back with an engine change. So, Bubba's right behind us. All right, maybe we can use our Bubba and Blaney friendship powers to get to the front of this race. And we are off. There we go. Green flag in the air. I have to get my eyeballs used to having all this open space around the car. Although I'm sure it won't be open for very long once we get packed up. But one thing I'd like to do is find a way down to that bottom line if I can. Oh, 49 is three wide in the middle barely and he makes it work. All right, we got Truex all the way back here. At least we got some fast guys maybe to help us make our way to the front. Although I got to get off the top. I almost packed Truex on the way to the bottom and now I'm out of the draft. I got to shove the 49 up so I can get into the hole with the air. And now let's get a run on Truex down to the bottom. We're four wide on the bottom. Keep it as low as you can, but not too low on the apron. I hit it every time. I am an apron fiend when it comes to NASCAR heat games. That's usually how I end up wrecking myself, but I managed to not do it this time. We're getting a draft help from the back with Truex. And I'm getting a little bit of a pull off of the Benedetto up here in front of me, but not much. Johnson's all the way back here at 31st. He needs to make his way up to the front. Come on, Truex, give me that big push into the corner is a little bit scary, but I will take it. It's not doing a lot. Oh, 66 just got held up big time. Back he goes. I think Alex Bowman might have been the one that caused that little stack up right there. Not really sure what he was doing in that Valvoline car back there in the middle. He's in the sucker hole right now. Let's see if I can get a run on old Jimmy Johnson and check out Newman on the outside. Newman, you got to make your way up to the front of this thing, man. We had one hell of a photo finish here last year. We got to bring that back. And you're not doing us any good in the high 20s, buddy. Now, should I throw my pseudo teammate under the bus here? That was a bit of a yellow line infraction, if we're honest. Somewhere, Regan Smith just started crying, and he doesn't know why. Really a tragic scene out here, but we are making our way almost to the top 20. Come on, we can crack that top 20. There it is. Oh, I'm going to get a big shot from the Benedetto. There it is, the stack up and the pushing in the corner. And that gives us a nice little run on Bell here. Can I get to the bottom of him? Oh, just going to peek a nose in there and get that side draft and pull him back and pull us forward here to the bumper of William Byron now. And we got Haley in here as well. Oh, four wide. We don't need that. And we're going to squeak it through on the bottom as we do. All right, top 15 now. We got Eric Jones, fellow Michigander. Hello. Got Suarez right here. Let's see if we can give a little push to Suarez. The tandem draft does not appear to work as well as it once did. But, uh, hey, it wasn't from a lack of trying, at least. Oh, that apron. Watch out for the apron. Might get a little push from Eric Jones here if we're not Clear careful. See if I can get underneath Ty Dillon off the corner here. Oh, this is looking like four wide again. Corey LaJoy on the outside there. We got Chastain and Ty Dillon in the middle. And myself as Ryan Blaney getting pushed by Eric Jones from behind. And we are going to clear this, hopefully, going into turn one. And I feel bad for Corey LaJoy up there on the super outside, who's just going to have an absolutely terrible set of corners because of it. Use this run from Kyle Busch to get up to the high side. Oh, he's going to come block me. You bum, Kyle. Kyle Busch has been an absolute menace to me in my videos lately. I don't know what that's all about. I got a bit of a run here from McDowell. I'm going to take it to the middle. I'm going to hang my teammate out on the high side. The poor guy. Sorry, Logano. Hey, I'll let you down. That was a bit of a jerk move. If you'd file in behind me, it looks like Brad's up there. We could get a little Team Penske train going, but I don't know that that's going to necessarily work out. You've got Chase Elliott up here who could break it up. He's a pretty good play racer. You've got Denny Hamlin, who is kind of the play racer right now. You've got Brad Keselowski up here who was like the plate racer of the last decade. So we've got a lot of obstacles that we're going to have to fight our way through up here. And I think Ryan Priest is leading the race. I feel like Ryan Priest is... Oh, oh I, what, what did I just hear? Oh, did Logano just wreck behind me? Wasn't he just behind me? Did he just crash? We got to see a replay of that in a minute. All right, getting ready to go back green. There we go. After our teammate, we believe, brings out the caution. Cannot 100% confirm what happened, but something happened to Logano since he's not here 
at the front anymore, and I did see a yellow and red blob at the back of the pack during that accident, so that'll be interesting to see what happened to that later. For now, though, we have to focus on Ryan Priest and the handful of laps that we have left to try and get by him. He's not even worried about the draft. He's going to the high side. Oh, that's because most of the draft is on the high side. All right, I guess we'll be moving up here then in front of them all, but not for too long because I got to get back down to the bottom here. Oh, Brendan Gaunt just threads the needle there, and then I drove across the 34's nose, and I can't stay off the apron. Please don't wreck it in the middle of the corner. Oh, what a shot from Kyle Busch. What a pack. I can't even call that a push. That was like a mini pack. And in the corner, when I was already about to die, and here comes another push from Kyle Busch. He's going to clear me of all those cars on my outside here, and now we can get back to second and focus on Ryan Priest out here. How was Priest just holding his own at the front like this? Did JTG bring the secret sauce? Oh, where's he going? He's going up to the top. He doesn't even want to win. Priest, what are you doing, buddy? Maybe this is a calculated move, though. You don't really want to lead at the end of Dega, do you? Oh, my goodness. This Kyle Busch pushes me up the track and almost turns me. That could have potentially been catastrophic right there off of turn four. And now William Byron's got a huge run on me. I'm not even paying attention right here. I'm going to let him get in my inside. No. Oh, no. That's not me in a dire situation. Now I'm in the middle. Oh, there's a slight gap there. Oh, Jones filled it. Now I am. Oh, give me that push, McDowell. Come on. There we go. All right, at least we cleared Kyle. We've got a couple of laps to go. Oh, Jones, please. Do. Oh, and the caution comes out. Just as we are within the top five, too, we'll get an inside start. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this one is for all the marbles. We are off for what is a green, white, checker overtime finish here at Talladega. And we have got Corey LaJoy trying to make himself three wide in the middle already from the start. Corey, pick one side of the lane and use it, or just be in the middle. Just do that. See how easy that was? Just do that. Come on, boy. We like you too much for this to be happening here. See if we can give a little look to the inside. Are we going to bring the 34 with us? Yes, we are. Now, Byron, what do we do with Byron? Do we go for the move now, or do we wait to the last lap? Because the Talladega thing to do is to wait to the last lap. And I'm totally content with this. I think we can make the move on Byron. I'm pretty confident we can make a last ditch move for the win, but I don't want to do it too early and then have them mount a charge on me. So, oh, and then I break off the bumper of Byron and McDowell's pushing me so hard. We're just going for it. All right. Well, that was a tad bit premature, but we're going for it. McDowell's got the shove pushing me to the point by William Byron. So I'm in the lead on the last lap, but now we'll make, oh, and then he did it. He did it right as I was gonna say, Will McDowell set me up next, and then he backs off to set me up. Come on, McDowell, do it. Do I feel like the emperor right now, do it. Come on, if you're bad enough, do it. Come take this win from me. I wanna see it. I'd love to see it. Out of turn four, this dub is gonna be mine if I can block for my life here. Come on, McDowell. Try the outside. No dice. Try the inside. Nowhere to go. Kyle Busch is going to try and steal your spot. We are going to come to the line and get ourselves our first win in our first race of NASCAR Heat 5. That is how you get it done. A thriller at Dega. Now, if you win at Dega and then you don't burn it to the ground immediately afterwards, have you really won at Dega at all? Has it even happened? Did it really transpire? The answer is no. The answer is absolutely, positively not. You burn it till there's no rubber left. I'll take it all the way across the front stretch if I have to, but I don't think we necessarily have to today. I think we can do a couple more loops. Soak this one in. Soak in NASCAR Heat 5. It is here, and we're gonna park it up right here by the Talladega sign. There you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those replays. Well, here we have the incident between Joey Logano and supposedly Chase Elliott. And I didn't see Chase Elliott do anything at all. Looks like Logano just lost it in the middle of the corner and then gets clocked by Clint Boyer. What? And there we are to collect our dub in victory lane once again, making this a familiar sight with Blaney and myself here at Dega, getting those dubs left, right, and center. Well, we will take a great day at the races any day. We'll check out these results here as we close out 
our trip into NASCAR Heat 5 for the first time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's been a lot of fun, and we're going to be having plenty more coming up. Like I said, get in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see season mode, championship mode, career mode, challenges, whatever you guys want to see out of NASCAR Heat 5. You let me know. We'll get some more videos popping here. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!